So in today's video, we're going to be looking at or showcasing a bunch of newer miners that we see out there that are coming in the future for solo Bitcoin mining. Stuff like the Bitaxes, the Node QXs, even the Zybit 8 ideas for them. And we're mainly going to be looking at showing you guys what is actually coming in the future. I feel like a lot of people know what the Bitax is, they know what the Node QX is, but they might not be looking so much at other different miners that are coming through and might have the potential to be as good as the Bitax or the Node QX. So in today's video, it's mainly a showcase of what I see coming in the future, so future mining hardware. We'll probably do one of these once every six months because it is evolving pretty quickly. We're seeing different iterations of different designs different chips that are coming along and giving you my kind of future projection of what we see within the next year or so for solo Bitcoin mining. So to give you an update on the Zyber 8 that we actually replaced the thermal paste, this has actually gotten much cooler over time. So I think that was actually a good idea to upgrade the thermal paste on that or at least replace it. And then we're probably going to repaste that nerd QX right there at some point so we'll do a video on that and then maybe we'll go in and repaste the rest of the bit axis you can see there's two up there and then two down here and we could also do the bit axe hex and the avalon nano it's mainly in preparation for when it becomes winter time we want them to be slightly more efficient want to be working at the best that they can so hopefully we can repaste all of them in time we've probably got around a month to do it and then that should carry us for the next six months on all of these miners so let's get into the video and let's head over to the computer and i can showcase what i see coming in the future but before that i'd like to thank the sponsor of this video crypto miner bros since 2018 cryptominerbros.com has been the premier site for top tier crypto mining hardware earning the trust of miners across the globe the prices displayed on their site cover shipping and ddp straight to your doorstep ensuring no unexpected costs at checkout. They deliver to over 100 countries and even provide lower invoicing options to help you cut down on customs fees. Payment is a breeze with options like direct bank transfer or cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, USDT or Ethereum. With over 250 ASIC options, they stock some of the channel's favorites like the Bitax, the Bitax Touch and the Avalon Nano 3S. Join tens of thousands of happy customers who rely on CryptoMinerBros.com for dependable hardware fulfillment, clear pricing, and a top-notch service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com today, link in the description. So as I said, we're going to start off by looking at a bunch of things I've got open here. So I've got a bunch of tabs open that are newer things coming in the space that I see in the next year or so. I just want to give a massive shout out to this Be Evolved x page so a lot of these are on x you can't really find them anywhere else maybe in discords where you're looking at a 100 person discord it might be hard to find but i'm trying to showcase a lot of the projects that are going on so this person is probably one of my favorite people to actually see posts from because they're just coming out with a bunch of stuff that are really cool to see so this right here is kind of like a bit x shield and then they have other projects as well like this hash disk, which is kind of for cooling. You put it in a pipe solution and you blow all the air through these holes. Kind of trying to be creative with the whole extra heat that you're going to generate. So mainly for heating purposes, you put it in a pipe and then you maybe have four or five of them and the heat exhausts out the front and then you use it to heat something useful. So it's made for a certain diameter and then it has a chip underneath here LCD. I don't know why there would be an LCD on it unless you're putting it in a pipe. So you might be able to take that off and then just a fan. And I'm assuming if you had five or six of these stacked up, you'd have a bigger fan the size of the disc as well. And then there's a bunch of other things as well. So this is the Bitax Shield that you saw earlier. It just has a chip there, kind of a rework of the Bitax design, but it's always good to see them as well. And then the main one that we showcased quite a while ago actually is this Bitty Axe. So a Bit Axe that is basically around 30% smaller than a normal Bit Axe. Just condensed, you had the ESP there, you have the chip there, 
the power there and the fan goes here I believe and it's pretty much just a smaller design of the Bitax so this person I think they're trying to crowd fund some of it so if anyone has anything that they want to donate I don't actually know where to donate but that would have been good to check but I don't know hit them up and see if they want to crowdfund anything and it's always good to get or see these projects take off because it's more out there newer iterations they can create more as time goes on so that's the first kind of things that we see in the future these are probably going to be very very limited so most people probably won't have these and then we'll move on to the next one which is the aura farmer x10 so this is from marshall long and a bunch of others so this is just 10 chips if we open this up here and it kind of like uh, something you'd see on a zyber 8 kind of the same size i would say and it's just five chips here five chips here and that's pretty much it but the main thing i believe is that these chips if we open this in a new tab you can see that these are actually different chips so i think they are from uh, if i'm not mistaken one of the american manufacturers of chips out there it might be Auradine or Bitdia, one of the chips. So it's using different chips, which is good to see. We need to see kind of more chipsets for different solo miners. I think there's going to be a massive evolution of all of the chipsets. So not just using Bitmain ones. I know a lot of people are focusing on Bitmain ones, but using the Avalon ones, using the Bitdia ones, using the Auradine ones, even the Microbit ones as well. So that might be coming in the future. I don't know what the time scale on a lot of these are. It takes time to develop this, get it into mass production, and then go from there. So it could be within the year, it could be more than a year after this. But that's something to keep an eye on. The next one would be the one that we're probably going to see next up hitting the market, which is the Bitax Gamma Turbo. So this is just a gamma that has two chips underneath. If we go across here, you can see that there's two chips here, one there, one there. This has got the XT30, I think the plug is, which is different because normally we have the barrel jack, but if it's working off this, then that's very interesting because I think these are more for industrial type of miners and we have it on the Zyber 8. I've never seen it on any other miner quite yet, but here is just the design of it. And then you have it on the GitHub here. So definitely working still untested prototype. I think that they'll be coming along very, very soon, kind of into the mass production that you see of the Bitax Gamma. Probably within the year, as in a year from now, we'll definitely see these in production across the board. And this is called the Bitax 800. So with the Gamma, it's 600 or 601. And this is the 800. So that might be coming within the year as well. And this is my most likely one that we're probably gonna get next when it comes out. I can't really see any of these, getting any of these anytime soon, at least not in the next year. But we do have some more that we can look at. So this is the Bitforge Nano, which I believe has a couple of chips underneath it. A bigger heatsink. This is slightly smaller in terms of the width than a Bitax, I believe. And I think it's a 12 volt system for all of this as well. That is the main thing that I think we're going to see as well is a 12 volt kind of merge. We already see it with the Nerd QXs, the Bitax Hex. We're seeing 12 volt systems come out. I think it's probably the best idea to invest in a 12 volt power supply at this point. Even though the Bitaxes are going to be 5 volt, I see in the future a lot of other miners that are coming out that people are making, they're probably gonna be on a 12 volt system. So definitely something to look into into the future if you are looking to buy power supplies and which miners you're looking to get into. It might be better just to get into 12 volt miners and then buy a 12 volt power supply so you can hook it all up when these do eventually come out. And then we'll move on to the different chipsets. So as I said, there's a bunch of chipsets that we foresee coming through, mainly there's going to be obviously new Bitmain ones, which we'll touch on a little bit later. But MicroBT, even the company that Jack Dorsey is investing in, those chips are going to be different as well. So there might be potential on those. There might be potential on other manufacturers of chips as well. 
This one's really interesting that we covered probably a couple of months ago. And these are the Intel BM or BZM2 ASIC chips from Proto Mining. So that's Proto Mining, the Jack Dorsey company. And these might be used as solo miners as well. So they don't do the best in terms of the hash rate. As you can see there, roughly 67 beta hash between 256,000 of them. So if you average that out, it's about 400 to 500 giga hash. So they are kind of older generation and these were made quite a while ago, I believe, but still useful because they were sent over as a donation for free. So we might be seeing miners with them coming along in the future, even though it's not necessarily the best in terms of efficiency, there can still be a lower price for them because they are donations. You don't have to spend as much on the chips because that's one of the main costs of obviously making all of these is the chips underneath. I think they go for around $40 each for at least the S21 chips in the Gamma or the Nerd QX. So that's adding to the price of these. So I foresee that coming in the future as well, something or a solo miner or even a bigger miner. They could be making a hash board for it and we just go from there. As in you can buy one of these hash boards with, I don't know, 10 or 20 of these chips on, on the actual hash board. Kind of like what we're seeing here, which is also one that we've covered, which is the Ember 1. So it's a 100 watt kind of board and then two to four tera hash on the hash board from the S19J Pro chips. And you can just see that there, there's 12 chips underneath. And we're seeing a lot of these evolutions into multi-chip miners just from, it's kind of expected to happen from the bit axe, you know, you have the bit axe and then the gamma turbo, the nerd Q axes, which are four. You have the bit axe hexes, which are six. Even the Zyber eight, which is the one that I've seen most in full production that has the most amount of chips underneath. Anything above that is kind of just like a, a hash board at that point. But you even see these, I think the, the way off in terms of the amount of chips would probably be about 20. That's what it's going to get up to until you just end up buying you know, one S17 or one S19 for the same price. Because these are very unique models of things, even all of these and this is probably gonna be quite a price point at the start. And then as more production goes on, it should get cheaper over time. So those are kind of all the ones that I've seen at least out there that are coming in the future. I'm sure that there's more, but you guys can let me know in the comments. These are only the ones that I've seen for the future of solo mining hardware. And then looking forward past that, we are definitely going to see S23 bit axes at some point. I believe an S23 nerd Q axes, so nerd Q ax plus plus plus, so three pluses. And these are going to be built with these S23 chips instead of the S21 chips that you normally see on them. So I definitely see that coming for pretty much every model that you see out there. So the bit axes, maybe the bit ax gamma turbo. So two chips of the S23 as well. The Nerd QX, definitely gonna be seeing a Nerd QX, which has four of those chips underneath. And then even things like the Bitax Hex, if we go here on Tiny Chip Hub, you can already see the evolution. So you have a Bitax Hex here and then a Super Hex. We still haven't seen, I don't think the newest generation, so the Gamma chips on a Hex before. But I know that they have the Zyber 8S, which is the super chips as well. And then the Zyber 8G, which is the current latest model of chips. But definitely, I think we're going to see all of these miners that you see out there, including the S23 chips. If they're Bitmain miners, then they'll probably include S23 chips. Probably later on down the line when they're more available to actually get. I don't know anyone that's got their hands on them but they might do and might be working around with them in the background. And that's gonna bring the home mining at least down probably to around 10 joules per tera hash. Currently they're sitting around 14.5. That's the main efficiency. And of course, as more miners come onto the Bitcoin network, you wanna have more efficient miners or at least the most efficient generation because all of these will be hitting the network and you'll basically be pushed out and you'll be wasting money on solo mining. Even if you have 
less efficient ships, it kind of makes more sense to go with the most efficient ones, especially in a country like the UK, which has a very high power cost. So in the US, you don't really have to worry about it as much. But in the UK, it is something that you've got to factor in if you are going to solar mine Bitcoin. And probably one of the reasons we haven't gone massively all out on a load of bit axes, a load of node Q axes, and a load of other miners out there. So that's what I see coming in the future. This video is more to make you aware of what I've seen around and and to kind of give you an idea of what to look forward to in the future of solo Bitcoin mining. So we'll be trying to get our hands on a bunch of these that we've shown in this video, but we might have to start sending off a couple of the inefficient ones so that we don't end up having a way too high power cost in the future. We'll probably start getting rid of the Bitax Supras there's probably going to be getting rid of the bit x hex as well the avalon nano i kind of want it i kind of want to keep it but the efficiency is actually the worst efficiency out of everything we're running currently i think it's sitting at 20 joules per terahash and the rest of them are sitting under 17 joules per terahash so those are probably what we're going to get rid of i don't know if we're going to raffle them off at some point if we start to get some of these new miners in and testing them out so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any other ones that you want me to take a look at in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.